So Eddie, I hear that there is a new Hendrix album coming out and that you were involved and I'd sure like to know the story behind it. Well, this is the, hopefully, the last of all the studio albums. Um, we've culled all, this, all these tracks from the library and we have been very, very careful about selecting just the very best of what Jimmy was up to in 68 and 69. He was going in a different direction um, and experimenting a lot. Uh, very different musicians on this. For instance, the, the, the lead-off single is called Somewhere. Stephen Stills on bass and Buddy Miles on drums and, and Jimi Hendrix, of course. That gives you an example of some of the stuff. There's tracks with horns on it, um, different drummers, different bass players, because he was trying to find where the next direction was. Because if you figure out, okay, he'd had three albums, you know, Axis, I mean, uh, I experienced Axis and Electric Ladyland, and then kind of drifted off into this year and a half of jamming and recording and trying to figure out what he was looking for. I, I think at the end of the line, when you get to the end of 69 uh, and the Fillmore East show, that was the culmination of some of what he was up to because he obviously he owed a record to Capitol Records from a legal standpoint and it was obviously Buddy Miles and Billy Cox. Uh, Billy Cox is on a lot of these tracks too. Uh, but I think that that year and a half of sort of trying to figure out that direction was really important to him. And fortunately, the tape was running. And we did a we did a, some very serious research into this. And uh, I was talking earlier about the uh, the use of the Burl uh, A to D converter. I couldn't have done it without it because you know some of the stuff was 16 tracks, some was eight, some was 12 track one inch four track even, you know, I mean, there were some weird formats there. Um, and I transferred it all through the Burl 8 to the, you know, um, and uh, 2496. And the results, I think, are pretty good because in the mixing process, uh, I use LAFX Studios in North Hollywood, and it's a beautiful vintage um, API board with automation. And Steve Ferlot, uh, I think you know who he is from Inwood Connections, he tweaked the board and it sounds absolutely glorious. Probably one of the better sounding APIs. And then of course loads of outboard gear and plugins, you know. Uh, there's a lot of plugins that actually work if you're careful about it and you're selective and you're not, you don't go crazy. Use the tools for what you need, you know. Don't, don't put the plug in if it doesn't sound right. Uh, and a lot of people unfortunately do that, but there you are. We're going to London next week. Uh, Sony Legacy throwing a big CD release party at the old Bag of Nails, which is where Jimmy played first, pretty much. And they've reconstituted the club, and that's where the CD release party is. So that's going to be a lot of fun. And did you know that the Hawaii Five-0, uh, this last week, had four tracks or five tracks from this album actually in the Hawaii Five-0 show, which is amazing. So that's what's going on in the Hendrix world. So what's it like to have been involved in the original ones and then coming back to it after all this time? And what's, what, what does that do to your head? Scary. It's just, you know, you, you put the type of me here, Jimmy talking, and it's saying, you know, saying stuff to me, or I say stuff back to him, and it's like, yeah, you know, the hair stands up in the back of your head. Still, after all these years, you know, and I've listened to these tapes a lot, and it's just so, it's a very inspiring thing. Um, just to hear how he takes a song and pushes it in a particular direction. And he had so much uh, intelligence and wherewithal, technically, of course, but the stuff from the heart is just, it, it, to me, it always, it, it always sort of freaks me out when you hear him do something. And you know how the, you, I can tell how his mind's working. He'll do a lick and then he'll rip something with the tone control that, and then he'll flip the control back to give him a really warm sound. I mean, his, his mastery of a tone were, is, is the best I've ever heard. And uh, he's an inspiration, you know. And for a long time. Always will be. Thank you. <laughs>